making a coconut cream pie. I'm just doing a nine inch. You know, a lot of times I make 11 inch and I make both size, size crust to go in my freezer. So let's get started. But look at this, isn't this neat? It was a gift to me. I mean, how do people come up with these ideas? It's got the little cloth here for you to wipe your hands and hang around your neck. That's so cool. All right, half a cup of sugar with a pinch of salt. And now the cornstarch. Of course, I'm not putting heat on this pan until I put add the liquids. All right, I'm gonna mix this powder well and get it all over me. All right, sometimes it's easier with small amounts of dry ingredients to just mix with your hand, especially when it's cornstarch and sugar. Now I'm adding the half and half egg yolks i'm gonna whisk this very well until you cannot see pieces of the egg yolk before i put the heat on all right the heat is on and i'm going to continue to whisk a medium heat continue to whisk it the entire time so what's going to happen is it's going to thicken up and you'll see it bubble just a little turn the heat off immediately see how it's thickened up i'm turning the heat off see the bubbles I'm going to whisk it until it's just really smooth and creamy. All right, now I'm adding the butter. This is my unflavored gelatin that I dissolved in cold water. This is going to help the pie set up so it's always, you always get perfect slices. And vanilla. And yes, I'm really bad about not measuring vanilla. I love it for custards like this. All right, I'm adding the coconut. Blend it in. This is sweetened, shredded coconut. And that's why there's not but a half a cup of sugar in this. All right, so I already pre-baked my pie shell and it's totally cool. I pre-bake all my pie shells, even for a baked pie. And I, if I have to put it back in the oven for a baked pie, like a pecan pie, I use the silicone cover around the crust and it does not brown anymore. Don't rush your pies in the chilling process. Plan ahead, make your pie the day before and chill it overnight. I'm going to put plastic wrap over the top to prevent a skin from forming. Yes, you put it on the hot custard, it's fine. See how easy that was? I mean, really, this is a homemade pie and it's so much better than one made from puddings, instant puddings. I mean, it doesn't take any more time, really. Okay, into the refrigerator overnight and we'll put the whipped cream on it tomorrow. Let's whip the cream for our topping. I use two cups of whipped cream for my 11 inch pies and I use one and a half cups of whipped cream for my nine inch pies. Always stop the mixer before you add the powdered sugar, trust me. Beat it on low to incorporate the powdered sugar and then you can raise the level. I'm adding the vanilla now. I always used vanilla bean paste in my whipped cream. It tastes so good. What we're looking for is stiff peaks. All right, back on high now. You can go too far on beating the whipped cream. If you go past this and keep going, you'll have butter. All right, you can see how the saran wrap, plastic wrap, keeps the skin from forming on top of the pie. Now, the whipped cream, I used one and a half cups of heavy cream for this pie, and it's more than enough whipped cream. I use powdered sugar to sweeten my whipped cream as I'm beating it, and also I always put vanilla bean paste in it, and people can tell the difference. They ask me, why does your whipped cream taste so good? I make all my own pie crust, and I use Crisco. 
I know a lot of bakers say, oh, you just have to use butter. But these are the flakiest pie crust. And that's another thing. People just rave, oh, your pie crust is so good. I use 9 inch and 11 inch. I make both sizes. And I do have a video on making the pie crust. I like to garnish the pie with toasted coconut. You can make your own or you can buy it already prepared at a place called nuts.com. Now to serve. All right, doesn't that look good? <laughs> look how flaky that pie crust is. I'm gonna show, look how. It crumbles so easily and it, see the flakes in it? And it's always like that if you follow my method for making pie crust with the Crisco. So here it is, a coconut cream pie. Rich and creamy, but not overly sweet. Each bite is soft and smooth, and then the coconut presents that familiar little texture that tells you this is a coconut pie. So if you like this video, please share it with your family and friends. Click on the like button and hit the bell so you will be notified when we post another video. Anyway, we hope to see you again soon on Darlene's Table. Have a blessed day.